have you with us and an honor. Thank you for traveling here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good start. I think, okay. Um, before yes, we Wahe, begin, please. I think um, uh, Mr. Ozaki, uh, Ozaki-san will have a few words that he wants to speak hmm. uh, directly to the audience today. Please. Um, in his own words. Uh, I'm happy and honored uh, to meet you all. Hmm. My name is Satoru Ozaki. Uh, let me introduce you to my best friend. This is Wahe Awayama, mm -hmm. the savior of my life. Mm -hmm. He will translate it translate and another best friend, Kumiko Sunahara. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so uh, perhaps we could begin, in fact, by talking about the extraordinary relationship that you have together. Um, because he just referred to you um, uh, Wahe as his savior, which is quite a strong word. Um, I think it perhaps would be important to hear first from Ozaki-san about his life before he met you and the way that he worked. I think the audience will be interested to know that in fact, prior to meeting you, he very rarely showed his sculpture to anyone. Yes. <laughs> Like many sculptors and painters and artists before him, um, there was a period in his life where he had no work. I was virtually on, uh, uh, almost about to starve in a sense, mm. going hungry. Mm. And he would look at a leaf in his yard and think, maybe I could eat this. And at that time, um, uh, at that point in time, uh, one of my dear friends introduced me to Wahei. Mm. で、僕はそれまで日本のその美術の団体とかそういうものそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのそのその
um, I will go right away to your studio to see your work. Please let me go visit you in your studio. 多くの評論家とかギャラリストはその先生と言われる人たちは僕が写真を見せるとそれに対して何か批評をしたりアドバイスという名のもとにその偉そうなことを言う,言うだけでも初めて彼が「君のスタジオに行きたい」って言ってくれてそれで信頼することができました。Um, most people,、um, academics or other gallery owners, if I would show them my work,、um, they would always, before saying anything else,、uh, criticize it、mm. or give comments towards it.、Mm. But Wahei was the first person to just, without commenting on it, just say that I want to go see your studio.、Mm-hmm. And at that moment, I realized that this is someone that I could trust. Mm, mm, mm. Excuse me for one moment.、Um, I would now like to have a short break in the story、mm-hmm. from Ozaki san. And if you don't mind, Wahei,、mm-hmm. could you say a little bit about what you were thinking in that moment?、Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a l- long story that I'll try to make as short as possible.、Um, Ozaki san is. A minimalist in many ways with his words. He's very much a poet.、Um, uh, but to speak on his behalf,、uh, when he was on the verge of extinction and starvation, you know, his utility bills were all stopped. I mean, he couldn't have electricity and all that.、Uh, he asked two people in particular in Japan、um, for help. And one was a very famous、uh, contemporary art gallery owner named、uh, Tomio Koyama.、Mm. Who, was, who went to the same university as Ozaki san.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, Ozaki san asked Koyama san, Is there anyone who may have the same aesthetic sensibilities or、uh, may be able to help me sell my work? And right away,、uh, Koyama san said,、uh, You should go see Wahei. <laughs> But he didn't know who the hell I was. <laughs>、um, I was just starting out, it was about 10 years ago as well. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't have much of a reputation at the time as well.、Mm-hmm. Um, so he didn't think much of it and went to ask his dear friend, a、uh, two star Michelin restaurant chef at the time named Tsushimi san.、Um, he just moved his restaurant, by the way.、Mm-hmm. Um, Ozaki san, to make a living, was uh, uh, making, uh, doing odd jobs, making utilitarian wear, functional vessels,、um, doing odd jobs here and there. And for Tsushimi, for the restaurant, he was also making tableware、mm. out of stainless steel.、Uh, so he asked Tsushimi san,、uh, Is there any gallery that you think、uh, may work well with my work? And the very first thing he said was also, Wahei san. You should go see Wahei san.、Mm. So Osaki san was okay. Well, there's two people in the course of a day or so、um, recommending that he go see me.、Mm. So he thought that he might as well try his luck. <laughs> and、uh, he made an appointment with Sushimi san and came to the gallery.、Um, and let's just say that、uh, he, he was a lot scarier back then. <laughs> and, you know, samurais, you know, just he, just, he wouldn't smile at all when he first came. He didn't even say hi, he was just very gruff like that. <laughs>、uh, he wants me to like his work, and he's not a very. Approachable man.、Yeah. But,、uh, you know, I, whenever I make an appointment, I always make it、uh, a thing that I'll always,、um, I'll never judge anyone by who they are, their demeanor first, or I wouldn't、mm-hmm. look at their CV, let's say.、Mm-hmm. I really don't care about that at all.、Um, but he just opened his、uh, portfolio, and just one work popped up. It was the predecessor to this one.、Yeah. Um, Uh, it was suspended in midair、uh, and almost about to hit that rock.、Yeah. It's just on the verge of touching. And just upon seeing that, I was just blown away.、Mm. And I, I told him right there, I, I closed the portfolio. I didn't have to see anything else. I said, I'm going to go see you in the hills of Chiba. I'm going to go see you as soon as possible. And I would also want to buy every, each and every single piece you make. 
uh, from now on till uh, we pass away. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, it was, I was just that taken by the work. And I, uh, lo and behold, I did go see him. And I saw that work in person. Mm. And I just th thought that this was the person that I've always wanted to meet as well. Mm. Um, this was the artist I was waiting for. And ever since, it's been a wonderful journey with him, mm. uh, ever since. Amazing, Wahe, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> mm. it's, it's almost like a fable, the <laughs> way that he came to find you and was told that he should speak to you, mm -hmm. and also the way that you felt that he fit into your life. Right. Right. Very extraordinary. Okay. Now, I should say that um, in case you have not noticed, there is an example of Zahi San's work outside. And although we are seeing these wonderful images come by, you must, must, must look at it in person and you must spend some time because it is abstract sculpture and it may at first look familiar to you as abstract sculpture, but in fact, you are being presented with something unlike any object you have ever seen. And much of that has to do with the nature of the material that Ozaki-san is working because as any of you who are metalsmiths or no metalsmiths or, or craftspeople will know, this stainless steel is one of the most difficult recalcitrant challenging materials that one could possibly work. And so Ozaki-san, I would like to begin asking you about your work by asking you about the choice of material. Well, the, perhaps the greatest factor was um, my university. He went to the most uh, 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 prestigious yeah. university in Japan, very hard to get into, uh, the Tokyo University of Arts. Um, uh, maybe it was like, too modest to say, but he was head of his class. Uh, uh, at, and he... Uh, met metal at the time, and he's been working with it ever since. He was enamored and blown away by it ever since. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And but there was a period where he would work with wood, work with stone, and other materials, but he would always find himself coming back to metal. Mm. Mm. And um, Uzaki-san, may I ask, was it the difficulty of the material that attracted you in some way? In his university, um, hammering or forging steel, stainless steel, was forbidden in his university. Iron, bronze, um, you could yeah, go ahead and hammer it, not stainless steel. Mm. Because it would damage your wrists. Mm. And at the point, he, and when he was told that, he said, now I'm going to do stainless steel. <laughs> <laughs> So his friends would, during university, would say, you are crazy. But if you start uh, uh, working with it, um, you could get friendly with it. <laughs> mm, mm. Rather, as you became friendly with Ozaki-san. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and, and now that you have worked it for many years, what has your relationship with the stainless steel become? I believe my technique has increased. 
あの自分の情感を込めたいんですね。I want to pour my emotions into that material. 例えば歌手が自分の感情をそこで舞台の上で表現するようにリアルな感情を作品に込めたいそのためにはどうしても技術が必要でした。Like a singer on stage trying to pour his or her emotions into singing and it's very much the same. He wants to pour his emotions into the material but to do that technique Is a prerequisite. Yes.、Mm. Yeah. I think this idea of technique as a means of making possible is very important to think about. And this also seems to be a subject of many of your forms. So the work that Wahei already mentioned with the steel almost touching the stone, and also this long series that you have created. Where the curve of the sculpture brings it around to almost. That's, that's me, and that's、uh, one of the works. Yeah.、Um, that he actually,、uh, that was one of the first works that he made specifically for me. Really? And、mm-hmm. um, earlier this morning,、um, I think uh,、um, we had a discussion about、uh, a phrase in Japanese that fleeting moment in time where you meet someone.、Um, ichigo ichie,、yeah. the now and here. Um, that work、um, that you saw is actually、um, two paths、um, one path in life, another path in life, and they're finally about to meet for the first time.、Mm. And it's that exhilaration, that tension, that and exhilaration of finally meeting the person you've always wanted to meet for the first time.、Mm. Um, that's the name of the work, actually. It's called Ichigo Ichie.、Yeah. Or, Um, here and now. Here and now. now、yes. yeah, yeah. And he made it for me, and、um, specifically the two paths that we had,、mm. and finally that we are about to meet in that excitement that he had at the time, he tried to capture、mm. in that work.、Mm-hmm. So it's about that story of you, you encountering Wahe san,、um, and yet it's also a story about the artwork itself. It's almost for me as if the art is trying to find itself. This is the first one. And you can see that he's drawing、um, with his almost calligraphic、mm. with this black ink、um, different versions of the work before he decides on one、mm. and then starts the process of hammering,、yeah. forging. I wonder, Ozaki san, how do you see the space in the sculpture, the space between? Ma. 最初にあの墨でドローイングを描くんですけどその,動その線っていうのはあまり何も考えずに何もとらわれない動きで線を引いてで大事なのはやはり最,最後のこれですね。When he begins,、um, he always uh, uh,、um, used the calligraphic style of ink brush and making the general form、mm. and trying to really be not, uh, uh, try to have a free spirit, a free essence in a sense.、Mm. But of course, at the very end, what's the most important when actually making the work is how to. Put these two points together. h e y m a n y s a o h e n a n i s a e ぐらいの奇跡によってあのそこで出会うことができた喜び今日の,あの皆さんとの出会いも多分そうだと思うんですけど。Well, that 
he's, when he's painting, it's on a two-dimensional uh, platform, but he's trying to go beyond it, even when he's um, with his brush. Mm. And really trying to, even in space, if two, almost as if two meteorites are about to collide, yeah. it's trying to get to that, mm. that uh, spatial relationship and, and the fact that he could have met you all today. Mm. So also that, almost that, it's almost a miracle, he's, he thinks. Mm. I love that idea, that idea of meteorites or planets because it's cosmic, Cos yeah. which I think is the scale we're thinking about here. Um, can I just ask one more question and then we can see if the audience has questions? Um, I wanted to ask about our theme today, which is time. And I'm sure everybody in the audience is thinking the same thing I am, which is that it's so beautiful to watch Ozaki-san's hands as he talks. And that's very fast. And ink painting is very fast. And steel is very slow to work. And I would like to ask about those different speeds and how they relate. Mm. 時間っていうものについてまずちょっとあの、お話ししたい。He would like to talk about before the act of um, making, um, he would like to just discuss time first. 時間っていうのは自然の営みそのものだと僕は思っています。Time is the natural uh, flow of nature itself. 時間の経過っていうのはつまり素材の変質を引き起こす。The passing of time changes material itself. 鉄が錆びたりとか、私たちが追いさせてしまったりとか。The rusting of metal, passage of time, um, our own physical existence as well, the passing of time, you can see us physically deteriorate with time as well. でそれを and I cannot stop that flow of time. その自分の力では同性もできないこと。つまりその自然の営みっていうものは僕がどう上げても思う通りにはできない。で、その。And that flow of nature. The passing of time is something, no matter how hard I try, I cannot stop. その自分の弱さっていうものを自覚したときに、あの、これは物を作る上ですごく大事なことだと思ってるんですけど、恐れの感覚、自然に対する異形の気持ち。but when uh, uh, you realize your weakness is towards time, their uh, inability to change it, uh, you learn to accept it as so, well. And then you are also fully understanding in awe of nature itself, or the fear of nature itself, the fear and trembling of the power of time in nature itself, he realizes. それを自分で自覚できたときに初めてその謙虚になれるっていうことと純粋になれる。And when he realizes that, when he comes to that understanding, that acceptance, um, there's a humility that is found, and uh, 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 an uh, honesty in a sense that can be uh, achieved. でこのことをすごく。大切に考えて作っています。And that purity is what I try to hold dear to when I create. それとあの時間っていうものを止めることができないってさっき言いましたけど、時間っていうものを感じられるっていうのはあの過去っていうのはもうやり直しができない。未来はまだ来てない。we cannot change the past, 
and the future has yet to begin. But the only thing that we can control is now. The present. Mm. Very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> それで、あの、あるその時間っていうものについて考えると、え、今という社層っていう概念が僕の中にあるんですよ。あ、で、あ、he as you mentioned earlier today, Glenn, um, it's the flow of time like rivers. You cannot step into the same river twice, but it, you're, it's always now. It's flowing, it's now. Flowing, it's now. Mm-hmm. And he was standing in front of a river, actually, and wishing to capture time. And when he was in front of the river, he said to himself, now, and he grabbed the river, <laughs> the water in the river, and tried to hold it in his hands. But already, the water was falling out of his hands. Um, the now is not there anymore. So since he couldn't capture it with his hands, he said, "Why? I might as well jump into the river. <laughs> so when he jumped in, he plunged and now he really felt like he was drowning. So he was now. And he's um, saying that this little experience, experiment, everyone could try at home. <laughs> With a sh- simple shower, <laughs> try and cap- so please try it when you go home today. Hmm. Excellent. Let us know how that goes. <laughs> Thank you. These are very beautiful words. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm sure we all do. Um, I think we have time for just one or two questions for Ozaki-san. Michael, would you like to kick off the afternoon? Thank Questioning? Uh, yes. Ozaki-san. Um, obviously, reflection adds an extra layer mm. to the form of your sculptural work. Um, do you get involved in the actual installation uh, to control what the reflection is doing and how it's uh, enriching your work? Or do you let it go when you finish the sculpture? あの、あって共鳴があると例えば今日でも来年でも10年後でもその時にその作品を見てくれた人の今が作品に投影される。It's a bit connected to that conversation of the present now. Um, my works are reflective and uh, they uh, it is they mirror what is happening now, uh, 10 years from now, 20 years, that whoever is looking at that work, it will be uh, showing or uh, reflecting the present. 
だからどこに持って行っても森の中でもこの部屋の中でもその時の今をそこに投影できるそういう素晴らしさが。So wherever you bring it,、um, it's reflecting that time and place, that certain place, and that's more important. Let's take one last question. There is one. Yes. Daniela, great.、Yeah. I love that idea of the object as presentness that you can take with you.、Yeah. Um, I am fascinated by the work of Ozaki san. But today I learn about the very special relationship you have with the material. And There is something extraordinary that is happening in Japan, and why you are, I think, the ambassador of that. That you see how artists in Japan taking very poor materials like clay or steel or fiber or you know, commercial glass, and they're making extraordinary、um, contemporary sculptures. And I want to ask、um, him if he is aware that what he does is very contemporary. It's very to the zeitgeist. Great question. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> Danielle, can you just、um, reiterate the, the very last? Part he said. You... What... Yeah, the very last what, part. What he does is very contemporary. It's very、okay. to the moment.、Okay. And I'm asking whether he's aware of that. Yeah, okay. 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 Mm. Wahe, can I ask you to comment on that question?、Mm. Um, it's, um, there is a movement in Japan, of course, with the Minge movement, of course, with making things that、uh, oh, the Japanese have held dear for centuries, for thousands of years, more, more or less. However,、um, And of course,、uh, you know, we have a long history of ceramics,、um, uh, metalwork, of course,、uh, many works as well. That said,、um, uh, these artists, even the、uh, artists that were making and carving the wood for these Buddhist sculptures in the 700s and 800s,、um, these artists, not artists, these Buddhist sculptures, Never considered themselves to be artists.、Um, or they were not really craftsmen as well.、Um, they, we did not distinguish in Japan between the,、uh, the craftsmen, the unknown craftsmen of Yanagi perhaps, and we didn't distinguish between the fine art or painters as well. So if you look at the medieval ages or the 1500s, 1600s in Japan,、um, there was a blossoming of uh, painting uh, in the Momoyama period.、Um, these Artists, these painters were hired by、uh, the ruler of the time, Nobunaga, who was the strongest feudal lord. These painters were never considered painters or artists. They were craftsmen because we didn't have a word for craft in Japan、um, until 1868、yeah. um, when we westernized、okay. and modernized and got rid of the、uh, Tokugawa shogunate. So、uh, a lot of that. Idea, the conception of craft, or the distinction between fine art, craft art, or、uh, this、uh, dichotomy in a sense, it's, it's a very Western thing for the Japanese.、Mm. And a lot of the artists today who are working, who I work with, for example,、um, they don't, of course, they are craftsmen, but they're also artists. And to just simply call them craftsmen is also, maybe there's not the right word for it. And maybe what we are trying to do as a gallery is really, it's a return to innocence. In the sense of the,、um, what Japan used to be,、um, uh, how we used to perceive art or craft, all anal analogous, all the same,、um, not, no distinction or demarcation.、Mm. Uh, that's what we are really trying to do today. And I think that's what was like, that's why he doesn't have that idea of that contemporary 
notion. He's just making things that he thinks are beautiful and can stand the test of time. Mm. Thank you, Rahe. Um, let me just ask one question in conclusion of Ozaki-san, if I might. I wonder what his impressions are of this place and this day that we have had together. Making it. I feel like dust floating in air. I'm still floating in air. And perhaps after a week has passed, then he could reflect and think that uh, and think what he could have done better, but it's very much like a dream that he's living right now. <laughs> well, I think we've all just experienced something very special and memorable. I know you will agree. Thank you so much to all of you. Thank you. Thank you Wahei, Kumiko, and Ozaki-san, thank you so much. Thank you.